What's up, YouTube? Dubstep Slap coming at you with another video. Quite a few pickups today with the long weekend having the uh, post office closed on Friday. Before I get into that, I want to get into some shout outs. Um, shout outs to Killem222. He has a, a, a clothing line called Top Citizen, topcitizen.bigcartel.com. He hit me up asking me if you know I wanted to rep some of his stuff. And I looked at it, and it's dope. So, shouts out to you, Killem222, for uh, sending me out a hoodie whenever you get that out. Um, shouts out to Furman2 ba uh, Brown, F-E-R-M-I-N-2, the number 2, B-W-N. It's the guy I bought the Grinches off of. Great deal. If you guys are a size 13, check him out on eBay. Um, shouts out to Trey James 804 and WTFSAJC, and JC is J-A-Y-C-E-E. -E. All of these names will be in the description like always, so check them out. Um, before I get into the pickups, my outfit, got the classic tee from soulfly.com to go with the LWP rookies, lime green beanie to uh, go with these boys when they're glowing in the dark, and if anyone, if I know not everyone follows me on Twitter, but uh, I put glow-in-the-dark laces in these. They do just look white now, but in the dark, they glow just like the shoe. I thought that was a sick touch. Um, I'll put the name of the guy off eBay in the description. Um, they're only like 40 or something inches long, so they don't actually tie up. They just kind of like go into this top hole about an inch or two. But honestly, like that makes them perfect because I don't usually tie up my shoes anyways. All right, um, so let's get into the pickups. Uh, let's see, what do I want to do first? Um, all right, <clears throat> big shouts to Mr. Premio Sneakers. Hit me up. His shop had the Spiz Ikes, both in a size 13. Um, he wasn't trying to, you know, make no money on them. He actually paid $20 out of pocket to ship these because shipping was about 50 bucks because he sh uh, sent them priority. So really appreciate that, dude. Um, that's true sneakerhead to sneakerhead love. Um, you know, paying 20 out of pocket extra for shipping. And I asked him if he wanted me to throw him 20 and he said, no, nah, it's all good. So really appreciate that, bro. Um, first off, he sent him double boxed and then each shoe was in these little shoe bags. Um, I've seen these before, but never had actually gotten them. So thanks, dude. So here we go. Two pairs. Air Jordan Spizikes, both size 13. Get into this one, the blue ribbon, orange flash, black and white. These are the blue suede boys, primarily a suede upper. And uh, they come with the white extra laces. I'm probably, you know, one of the last people to get these. I know these have been selling like crazy for a few weeks, but very stoked to have them. These blue ones are, you know, much better than I was expecting. The elephant print, crazy inner lining, white laces, icy bottom. Don't need to do a crazy review. I mean, there's hundreds of them already. So let's keep it moving. Orange flash, blue ribbon, black and white. Personally, these are uh, the pair that I favored most, like most people. I know a lot of people like the blue, but from the videos I saw, it seemed that more people were digging the uh, orange pair. And um, I got to agree with them. The leather on this is amazing, much better than I was uh, expecting. On point, tumbled leather. White laces, again, crazy inner lining, icy blue sole. So I was uh, in my shoe room earlier, and I noticed that I had uh, some flat laces from uh, Foot Locker. I noticed these ones are a little too bright, so they're not really a little too bright for that. Got to get some more, uh, you know, burnt orange colors. But these right here, what do you think? You think blue laces in the Blue Boys would be too much? Or... Should I put blue laces in the orange boys to accent the blue jump man? There you go. Let me know. Um, 
I think, you know, I think blue in these and orange in these would just, you know, completely set it off. But I don't know if that would be a little too much orange or blue. But, I mean, if you already look at the shoes, it's covered in that color. So, we'll see how that goes. Comment down below and let me know what you guys think. Alright, so, got two snapbacks today. One is from uh, youngandreckless.com and the other one is from hatclub.com. Uh, the Young and Reckless one, it is a Machine Gun Kelly lace-up snapback. I think you guys remember the lace-up tee I got a few weeks back. Um, the Y&R on the side, lace-up in the front, Reckless in the back with a blue snap, green underbrim, blue dot. So check out uh, youngandreckless.com, especially if you're an MGK fan. They also threw in this free Young and Reckless uh, keychain as opposed to the uh, lace up MGK uh, shoestring lace belt that they threw in last time. Um, all right, this one is from hatclub.com. It's an LRG uh, snapback. It's got a panda on, what is that? A, uh, I think it's a tractor. Looks to be chewing on something, maybe smoking. Got the tree right there, the tree logo, LRG. On this side, still an animal, LRG, black snap. Same gray color on the top. And it's kind of like a, almost like a denim look. Uh, this goes along with my uh, hat from True. That is um, this San Francisco hat that says this city is a living zoo. It's the same color, um, you know, definitely was feeling this hat, got a few fits for that, so stoked to have that. Um, got these from Nike.com. These arrived on Saturday, but, you know, I was just going to wait for these other ones to make a video. So here we go, LeBron 9, white, white, black, and sport red. Again, you know, because these did release a while ago, there's a lot of videos on them, but... Still going to make a video for my pair. These are the LeBron 9 Scarfaces or the Miami Homes, whichever you prefer to call it. The black carbon fiber type nylon. Um, I believe that's a 3M swoosh with the red outer lining. And then on the inside, got a uh, red swoosh with a black inner lining. Um, got the LeBron logo in uh, white and black, LeBron logo on the back, got this uh, black and white tongue with the red logo, uh, looking similar to the Scarface logo, or the cover of the DVD, um, <clears throat> let's see, chains on the bottom, and uh, yeah, I mean, there's not really much to say about this. It's the Miami home, or Scarface, if you prefer to call it that. Got a uh, red crown with a little black logo. I think that's a nice touch that they uh, made it different colors. Let's keep it moving. Uh, Nike SB. Got these um, off my boy Nick at soldoutsneaker.com. Uh, you know, he's my guy. I get all my... Uh, general releases and quick strikes from him for SBs. So here we go, Dunk Low Pro SB, Black Black and Anthracite. Um, these might have dropped, but I honestly don't know the official release date. He just kind of ships them out when he gets them. But these are the All Black Blackout Dunk Lows. Comes with a set of Anthracite laces show you guys the difference anthracite and the black doesn't look too much different on camera but this is kind of more of a gray but got a uh, all suede uh, upper <clears throat> black midsole black bottom all black black insole with an anthracite Nike SB I think you guys can see that um, yeah I mean like this is just a clean shoe something to wear you know to dinner something like that I might pick up a second pair and get something done to it you know a little customization I'll let you guys know about that if I decide to all right two more pairs 
Shouts out to uptempoair.com. Nike Brown Box. I told you guys I was getting a second pair of these. I got my first pair last week. Um, shouts out to Brendan Fraser in Georgia the Jungle. You know, this is the reason I got them. Taking it back. Black, black, white. Air more up tempo. Once again, shout outs to my homie B Just25. He's a big fan of the more tempo, or the more up tempo, excuse me. And I mean, there's not much to say about this shoe. It's classic. Got the air going up the outside. Got air coming down the inside. These are, um, I believe, the 2008 release, and uh, they went back to the original Nubuck. Uh, what was it, the 04 or 06 release? Had leather, and those ones are a little tougher to find. The air bubble. I gotta say, these are definitely some of the comfiest shoes I've ever worn. The cushioning on them is crazy. All right, um, I was looking for this pair for a while and really glad I found it, especially at retail. I wasn't thinking I was gonna get that, but Reebok, pair of Kamikazes. See if you guys can guess the color. Here we go. Kamikaze 3 mid, black, white, and blazing orange. Here we go, the Reebok Kamikazes in the uh, black, white, orange colorway. I call these the San Francisco Giants. Definitely going to be rocking these to some games this upcoming season. Last season did not turn out the way I wanted, but hey, fuck it. The games were fun to go to. Always sitting in the bleachers. Shout outs to bleachers section 137. So here we go. Got that new book on the uh, toe, white tumbled leather. Then you got that blazing orange inner lining, white Reebok R, Reebok in orange. Got your Hexalite technology, Reebok on the bottom in orange. So not too crazy of a colorway but definitely going to be putting some uh, orange laces in this to accent the inner lining as well as the logo or the word Reebok on the tongue. So shouts out to everyone, all the viewers, everyone who comments, all the subscribers. Quick little thing. Um, I've been super swamped with work and school. I still haven't gotten the giveaway prizes. I will get those in the next upcoming days and hopefully have them out by Wednesday or Thursday to give you guys tracking on Friday. Um, I'm all hoping to have it by, uh, before that, but I'm gonna set a deadline for myself and say Friday. So enjoy the vid. Hope you guys are having a good day. Peace.